Hey guys, what's up? Hope you're all having a good day today and welcome back here to another edition of The Fishing Teacher. And definitely thank everybody for uh, supporting the new channel here and hope you guys are learning some good info. Today we're gonna be talking about fishing the wacky rig, guys. This is one of the most incredible bass catchers of all time. Gonna give you guys some tips and advice on this real simple way to catch fish out there. So anyway, guys, this is this is all a wacky rig is. It's a straight tail plastic worm. This is a Zoom, called a Zoom trick worm but you can really use any straight tail plastic worm will work. And you just take a small one-aught hook, just a straight shank, this is a Gamagatsu one-aught hook, and you simply hook it in the middle of the worm, just run it right through the middle of the worm like that. And that is the wacky rig right there. Now this right here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put this guys in the top five of the all-time greatest bass catchers of all time. It, it really hasn't been around that long um, people have been using it to some extent over the past 20 years, but it's really sort of like the past five years that it's coming to its own. But guys, the Wacky Rig, the reason it's so effective is it's a super slow falling deal. There's no weight on it other than the hook and the worm. And when this, when it fl falls through the water, it'll fall through the water like this and the tails will just sort of slowly wiggle like that. Almost, it looks like it's alive. It's just going, it'll, it'll just, you know, depending upon how big a hook you're using, I prefer a small one out hook, a wire hook, but it sort of falls about like that right there. And it's just sort of wiggling as it goes down. And guys, fish cannot resist this in some type of a clean water environment. You can catch them in off colored water on it, but really I like to have sort of like at least um, two, two and a half foot of visibility for the wacky rig to work really good. Ideally, I like say three to five foot of visibility, but it is one of the, it's probably the number one lure that you can throw in the springtime of the year. If the water temperature where you're fishing at is any anywhere around 60 degrees, you know, 58 to 70 some degrees, guys, a wacky rig is just absolutely deadly. And you wanna fish this on a spinning outfit with light line. I use six pound test fluorocarbon line with it on a spinning rod. And I fish it just down the bank, you just basically just going down the bank throwing it in like say three to six foot of water and just taking your time and just letting it sink real slow. Now, probably I'm gonna guess um, half of the time they hit it on the way down and half of the time they hit it once it hits the bottom. But normally on a wacky rig, if, if the bait, if you let the bait hit the bottom and you work it maybe a couple feet and you don't get a bite, just reel it out and make another cast. Because like I said, they really, they track this thing. It's a visual bait, there's no sound to it. So they hit it from the sight only. So that is why you get a lot of bites on the way down. But it's a really good uh, bait to fish around boat docks. It's a really good bait to fish uh, just down a rocky bank or like in the back end of the cove. One of my favorite ways to fish a wacky rig is in the springtime of the year, I'll go to the back of any cove or in any shallow water and just fan cast it in that shallow water. And a lot of those fish that are up in there early in the spring, they just can't resist this. But guys, uh, like I said, Wacky Rig, it's one of the basic one-on-one uh, bass fishing lures. Um, one of the most favorite ways to fish it. And what happens is like the bite on it is like you'll throw it out there and all of a sudden, most of the time, you'll just see your line just start swimming away when one's got it. And that's how you know fish has it and you can just set the hook on it. But guys, give it a try. It's right up there with the Texas rig worm we talked about to be the, one of the most effective bass catchers of all time. Super fun bait to fish. Catches a lot of fish and it catches some also some quality fish. So hope it helps out. We'll see you guys later.